Rosebuds, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Carly Rose. Thank you so much for joining me again for another video. I know it's been a while since I've done a cooking video, but today I want to show you guys how I make Jamaican style Escovish fish. That's what we're going to be making today. So I have my fish right here. I have some porgy fish and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to season my fish, okay? I'm going to be using some salt right here fish seasoning chili powder ground black pepper and some cayenne pepper so I already went ahead and I mixed all the seasoning together as you can see right here I mixed all the seasoning Together, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, season my fish. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do before I season my fish is that I pat dry the fish. You don't want the fish to be wet. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pat dry the fish with some paper towel. I also slice the fish right there. As you can see, I've already sliced the fish so I can put the seasoning right in there. And I'm also gonna put the, the seasoning on the inside of the fish. So. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that first. All right, so my fish has been seasoned, and so what I'm gonna go ahead and do while I let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut up some uh, sweet peppers, some onions, some scotch bonnet peppers, some carrots, and uh, yeah, let's so get into I it. have my uh, peppers right here, my sweet pepper, my scotch bonnet peppers, and my onions, my onion, and my carrots, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut these All right, welcome back. So as you can see, my sweet bell peppers have been cut, my onions, my scotch bonnet pepper, and my carrots have been cut. So I'm gonna put that to the side, and I think my fish is ready to be fried. So we're gonna take you guys over here, and we're gonna um, get going. Okay, we are back, and my fire is on medium to high heat. I'm gonna add about two cups of oil to my pot. I'm gonna get that very, very hot. I want this oil to be very, very hot because you don't want the fish to stick to the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna fry my fish. So I'm still gonna pat dry my fish because some of them are still wet. So just get them pat dry. Make sure that, you know, they're not gonna be splattering all over the place when I put them in. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put these in. We're just, gonna do, we're just gonna do two at a time. Alrighty, so my fish is being fried. So when we do the ask of this fish, we actually like to um, season the oil as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add some thyme, some garlic, some scotch bonnet pepper to my um, oil. So we're just gonna let that um, get brown on both sides and then we're gonna take them out of the, um, the frying pan. Okay guys, welcome back. My fish is done. Done frying right there as you can see. It is done frying. So let's get into the good stuff y'all. This is where all the magic will happen right now. We're gonna turn back the fire on. I poured the oil off. Um, I did not throw the oil away because I'm gonna need the oil um, in a little bit. So I did not throw it away. I actually have it in my Pyrex glass right here. And I am going to use that a little bit later. 
All right, so my um, pot is so hot, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add my vegetables to the pot. What I'm gonna do next, I'm going to add some distilled vinegar to my vegetables. I'm just gonna eyeball it. One other thing that you can add to your vegetables is some pimento seeds. And um, you can get these in your regular grocery store, um, Caribbean grocery store, or wherever. And I'm gonna put some of this in the um, in the pot. And it will gonna give me um, a lot of flavor. You guys can see that. It's gonna give me a lot of flavor. So I'm just pour this all over. While that is going, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some of the oil that I used to fry the fish into the pot. Pour a little bit of the oil. Give that a good stir. And I'm just gonna let this um, steam for about um, five minutes. I don't want the vegetables to be soft. I want them to still be crunchy. So maybe about five minutes or so, I'm just gonna let this steam for. Um, and we'll be right back. All right guys, this is done. I think this is done. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn off my fire. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, let me put this up a little bit. I just, guys can see everything that I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the vegetables on the fish. Um, you can wait until it's cold if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, my fish is not that hot and so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just pour it on there. All right, now that I have that, I'm gonna take a little bit of the juice that's in there and I'm just gonna just pour it all over. There you have it guys, Jamaican style Escovish fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please do try it. Try um, this recipe and you will be amazed how much you will love it. You can use any type of fish to make this um, uh, Escovish fish. You can see the delicious fish right under there. That is it. Thank you for watching. Bye, y'all. Catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Yes, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss another video from your girl. Bye.